In terms of English history, the Battle of Towton is the bloodiest battle fought on English soil. There's never been anything like it before or since. It's estimated that between 28 and 30,000 people died on that day on Palm Sunday. And when we compare it against the battles of the Somme, those numbers far exceed anything in terms of the slaughter in the Battle of the Somme. And when we think that they had modern warfare, and all these chaps had were bows and arrows, pole axes and, and, and swords, you know, sidearms. Tristram Bolling um, starts off the novel um, leaving the, the, the Battle of, of Towton. Uh, he played a, a very important role um, in, in the, the encounter uh, because he was actually at the Battle of Furrybridge and as far as we can tell in the Flower of Craven serving with, with John Clifford uh, where with 500 of the Flower of Craven they were responsible for something like three and a half thousand Yorkist deaths. Um, but when he made good his escape, when he was pursued by the Yorkists, um, John Clifford was, was killed with a, an arrow through the neck. And we don't know of many survivors. We, we know of two uh, that I'm aware of, and one was Tristram Bolling, and the other one was um, Lord John Neville. But what that means is Tristram has seen two tremendous slaughters in as many days, and he was a very lucky character to escape death of battle at, at, at two such bloody encounters. The Flower of Craven were a hand-picked troop of light cavalry. Their job was to engage with the enemy as soon as possible, to cause the enemy as, as much damage as possible in the early stage of the battle, uh, and to report on the enemy's strength as well, to go back to the main body of troops and talk about troop deployment. And that was done very effectively. So we see you know, 500 hard-riding, hard-fighting men attack the Yorkist camp at the Battle of Ferrybridge. Really caused so much of a commotion in the Yorkist camp across the other side of the river that Edward IV sends his champion Warwick to find out what's going on and Warwick is wounded in the leg with an arrow by presumably one of the mounted archers and he turns tail and runs back to Edward IV and at that point he dismounts and he cuts the throat of his steed uh, saying to King Edward IV that that's as far as he's going to retreat from the Lancastrians but that didn't cut much ice with Edward IV and he ordered that immediately that these people in the Flower of Craven be pursued Yes, the uh, Flower of Craven were uh, a group of soldiers got together by John Clifford during the Wars of the Roses and they were unusual in that they were uh, armoured men on horseback who also were archers we believe and they were used for things like surprise attacks. Um, Tristan Bolling we know was at the Battle of Towton and if you look at his will there's a list there of the weapons and the armour that he uh, took with him to the battle and that he was leaving uh, in, in his will and he describes the equipment that you would expect to be uh, Flower of Craven to have. So as far as I'm aware, apart from the Clifford family themselves, he's the only person we can specifically identify as being a member of the Flower of Craven. John Clifford once said strode through the Middle Ages, um, and, but, but he did it in the space of five years. He became Lord Clifford at the age of 19 when his father was killed by the Yorkists at St Albans, uh, and he swore revenge upon those who were responsible, the York family and the Neville family. And in the five years that he was the Clifford Lord um, trying to achieve this, he, he in fact killed the Duke of York and, and his son at the Battle of Wakefield. But he himself was then killed at the Battle of Ferry Bridge uh, the year later, at the age of 25. It, the Battle of Towton was the biggest battle ever fought on British soil. You have about 100,000 men there engaged in, in the fighting. You have even more significantly 28,000 men, it's believed, killed during the fighting and during the, the route that followed the, the battle, the massacre in fact, that followed, followed the battle. It's also significant because it led to Henry VI being deposed as King of England and to the accession of Edward IV and the, the, the start of the Yorkist dynasty.